This video will guide you on disassembling and assembling the Scout wiring harness. This video is mainly divided into two parts, disassembling and reassembling the Scout wiring harness. Step 1. Begin by removing the battery from the e-bike and disconnecting all the wiring harnesses at the bike's front. The front main wiring line is separated into two sections, the left and right brake sensor wires, instrument, and throttle wires make up one part, while the other part includes the horn, headlight, headlight horn switch, and front left and right turn signal wires. Step 2. Next, unplug the rubber plugs of the left and right wiring harness on the frame. Use a cross screwdriver to turn the battery lock finger counterclockwise to remove it. Use an M3 Allen wrench to turn counterclockwise and remove the battery lock and battery base. Extract the front light main line and instrument main line controller from the frame. Proceed to disconnect all the wires connected to the controller. Step 3. Utilize an M4 Allen wrench to unscrew the fixing screws of the saddle and detach it. Use an M8 Allen wrench and a 17mm open-end plumb wrench to remove the nut on the upper end of the rear shock absorber. Lift the frame to extract the upper end screws of the rear shock absorber and use the rear shock absorber to support the frame. Ensure that the right side of the e-bike is supported against a wall to prevent it from falling. Disconnect the wiring harness plugs of the rear tail light and rear turn signal. Step 4. Proceed to remove the two fixing screws of the controller counterclockwise using an M4 Allen wrench. Remove the motor wire and the cable tie holding the motor wire in place, to connect the motor wire's connector, first remove the left fixed support of the rear fender and the front hanging ear fixing screws. Retrieve the controller.
Step 5. Detach the crank using an M8 Allen wrench and crank puller. Carefully remove the booster by applying equal force from left to right. Afterward, gently pull out the wiring harness of the entire bike. Let's proceed to the next step and begin installing the scout harness. Step 1. Attach the taillight cable and secure it in place. Next, secure the controller by wrapping all the connectors with tape for easier installation. Connect the motor cable connector and secure it in place.
Step 2. Secure the rear fender in place. Install the rear shock absorber and secure it, remember to lift the frame while inserting the upper fixing screw of the rear shock absorber. Push the booster into the left middle shaft manually. Install the crank. Connect all the connectors of the controller, tail light, light relay, flasher, dual battery regulator, the first two main lines, and the power line. When inserting the two mainline connectors in front through the frame, start with the instrument mainline followed by the headlight mainline as the instrument mainline is thicker.
Step 3, attach the battery base and separate the main line into two paths. Thread the wires through the frame outlet located behind the head tube. Connect the left turn signal, headlight, horn, light switch, left brake sensor, and instrument connectors on the left path. Secure the battery lock finger, battery lock, and all wire connectors.
For more details, visit cyrusher.com.